Hello there, welcome to this video, which I'm very, very excited about because I'm a long-term Warriors of Chaos uh, fan. Uh, this is my favourite faction, so we've got... Um, well, all of Chaos is back, including the old Warriors, which I thought was quite interesting. I thought, I genuinely suspected they might rebox the new ones um, and put them on square bases, but now we've got the old Warriors back. To be honest, I think the new ones suit AOS, Slaves to Darkness very well, uh, as does the new cavalry, because it's like the shields have all been like designed in line with like Archaon, so Archaon's been like the design note. And they've really gone from that, whereas these, I really like these old kind of massive uh, sort of um, heater shields sort of things. And yeah, they're just really, really, I love this aesthetic. I love the kind of weirdly monopose nature of it because it just looks like a wall of steel like descending on you. Like, that is so imposing, rank, this stuff ranked up. So really good to see all this back. Um... I quite like these cavalry as well. I think they work quite well. Uh, the chariots models are great anyway. So, yeah. Anyway. Um, so, here's the Arcane Journal. They said... Um, two special characters, including Galrauch. So, we've got two special characters. I don't know who the other one's going to be. Galarauch, who they haven't, is really interesting that they've decided to do that because it's such a great model kit. I mean, it is it it is a bit of a pig to put together, but, like, it's a really nice, like, kit for painting. Or it's like, you can do, you can go to town with it. It's absolutely, it's, it's lovely. Um, so this is like, it's, Galarauch is like a, a, dragon that was possessed and its head kind of split into two basically it's a bit of a weird kind of um uh it's a very weird kind of dragon uh now what i um see if i can find here we go so this was his stats in 6th edition so looks pretty much like a normal dragon to me um, magic uh, has scaly skin 3 but then so did all dragons so it's probably going to have a 4 up save it's got master of sorcery this is what it had so I'd imagine it's going to have more or less the same the same bits as all of that so most knows one more spell that it's normally allowed ok doesn't say what level wizard it was, but uh, I'd imagine it'd be like a level. F f Do you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if they made it a level five. That would be quite cool. That'd be really interesting. Um. Uh, Zinch's will. I doubt they're going to bring that in because that would be a bit broken. Uh, Spirit of Galrauch. Now, this is cool. Um, yeah, so if he, at the start of every turn, he's got to pass a leadership test. If he passes, he's normal. And it's failed the ancient. So basically, it's it's like a it's it's a normal uh, ancient like dragon um, that was possessed by um, a greater demon of Zinch, basically. So it's kind of like. A, a Lord of Change inhabiting a dragon, really. It's a weird... Um, it's a bit more complicated than that, but anyway, it's a weird kind of story, uh, as as most things are. Um, but yeah, so this... So he comes with the downsides, basically, and with him being leadership... Oh, I thought he was nine. Once per battle, demon may automatically dispel one enemy spell, and on a four up, the wizard loses knowledge of that spell and may not cast it. That would be insanely powerful. All of its abilities would be insanely powerful in um, the edition of Warhammer. So, cool. Um, so 
So that's Galrail. Anyway, so he's coming back. Seven new unit profiles, two armies of infantry, the marauding wolves of the sea, which will be like a kind of a nautical uh, Norskan, um, like marauder based horde, and the mounted heralds of darkness, which will be like just knights basically. And cho maybe you're allowed more more than one unit of chosen knights in the, the heralds of darkness. And new magic items. You simply couldn't tremble the realms of man without it. And then they've got the obligatory cards and dice. So these are the returning plastics. Man Lord of Manticore. Um, which already exists for AOS. But Lord and the Sorcerer Lord. Uh, got those. Chimera. Um, hate the model. It, it's... It, it's really that's a very good paint job by the way but the model i'm personally i think it's terrible um we've got dragon ogres coming out finally they they are well i mean they were quite an important part of uh the current suite of stuff but however with other bits coming out again they might not be um we've got the warriors of chaos in a big, like, chunky boy, 32, 32 uh, man block. Might buy that, actually. It looks so good, doesn't it? <clears throat> so these are returning. Uh, so they've said that they've told us what wave. So they're, they're releasing it in waves, and they're telling us what waves they're releasing in, which is just unprecedented levels of communication from Games Workshop. So well done to them. So this is the stuff that's coming out in the in the first wave alongside obviously this. Six kits are returning in plastic in the first wave. Eight. I presume these are all returning in the first wave, whatever the first wave means. So we've got the old sorcerer lord. Um that's a horrible model. I don't know why that's coming back. Uh that, uh, well, that uh, Lord Champion, whatever. This model is actually quite nice. Uh, once you get a hang of it. I mean, I've got one that I've painted and it's not very good, but... Oh, oh pardon me. That's all right. We've got the Chaos Ogres coming back. Um, both. This was this is the command set, so that's the Champion Standard Bearing Musician. Um, but then we've got the actual, you know, the actual Chaos Ogres coming back, which is uh, pretty cool. And then the Chaos Trolls, which uh, wonderful models, uh, just absolutely disgusting, make absolutely no sense. Uh, you've got the Chosen on foot uh, with great weapons, that's what they look like. Um... I think that was the only way that they did chosen, uh, and then the chosen on foot with uh, with command now. The double hand weapon and the halberd upgrades brew for uh, these are for the warriors of chaos. So, uh, if you wanted to equip these with either a great weapon or a halberd, you needed to buy this extra kit. Basically, these were metal. So it's it's great that they bring that back as, as a, like an upgrade kit. Um, but that's not all. Eight more mighty champions. So these are all metal models, basically. Um, now this currently, when it was out for AOS, is a resin model. Uh, so it's interesting that they've gone from metal to resin and back to metal with this one. Uh, very interesting. So these are all returning metals. And then we've got returning and remastered resins. So the metals they've not done anything to. These they've remastered to make them work better. That is, the, the Hell Cannon is such a lovely kit. Like, it's a really nice kit. The problem that they've got is that the rules for it are awful. Like, you've got absolutely no reason to take it. It's terrible. Um... 
that you've got the Shagoth coming back as a resin. I thought it was a plastic kit nowadays, but obviously it's a resin. Uh, skin wolves are back. That, so that's so we've got Gal. So remember, they said uh, they said seven new unit variables, two special characters, seven new. So does the seven include the two new? So we've got Skinwalkers there returning. We've got um, that was a what was that? What did that used to be called? That used to be called like a fire dragon or something, something like that. Anyway, that's that's a cool Forge World sort of thing. We've got the the, the giant spawn. That's three. Okay. As the, still the flood of twisted nasties continues, this time in resin. So, metal made towards you've got the old spawn, you've got the old demon prince, who's derpy as hell. Uh, I wouldn't bother, but I guess the slide dash one's okay, isn't it? These are, There are four units returning in metal on made to order. These are the Chaos Sorcerer Lord and Chaos Steed, Demon Prince with Sword, Demon Prince with Axe, and Classic Chaos Spawn. Oh, these are two separate kits, are they now? Didn't used to be. Um, you've got Marauders coming back. Uh, yeah. They were alright. The Marauder Horsemen are better. They're kind of... There's, the models look better, I think. Because um, they're wearing more armour. They don't look quite so stupid. You've got the Chaos Knights coming back. You've got the Chaos Chariots coming back. You've got Chaos Dags coming back. Uh, this is Wave 2. Uh, but, yeah, so it would be really interesting... So the only things that they've shown us are the dragon. Which I can't remember what that used to be called. <sighs> Pardon me. Warp fire dragon, that was it. I knew it was something fire dragon, because you had the magma dragon, which was this sort of um, yeah, see, that was the water fire dragon. That's the one they've brought back. That was was that the fire drake or something like that? Um, that was Vorgoroth and just a ridiculous sized thing. Uh, was that a forge world? Is that a forge world dragon or is that something else? That looks like somebody. Uh, is that Galrauch? I don't know. Weird. Uh, yeah, then you had the... Was that Forge... Carmine Dragon? That was Forge World, apparently. Forge World has done, like... That's Forge World Galrauch. Oh, goodness. I wonder if they're... Um, I wonder if they're coming, bringing that out instead of the old Galrauch model, then. Because... Uh, Oh, that looks epic. That looks really good, actually. Apart from the derpy pose, it looks a bit... But, I, like, I guess what they're trying to do is they're kind of trying to, like, put a dragon but evoke the shape of the Keeper of... Um, Lord of Change. And then this is my favourite dragon, the Magma Dragon, because it just looks so cute. Um, but, yeah, this coming back, the... Uh, the uh, get fired up for Forge World's latest dragon. That was a while ago. Uh, but yeah, so we've got the, the Warp Fire Dragon coming back. Um, so that's one unit, which is quite cool actually, that we've got like a standalone dragon, just a single dragon as like a normal monster. That's pretty epic. Love that. Um, we've got this giant spawn, which is just wonderful. Uh, it's just a really stupid model. with so It's just ridiculous, but fantastic. Um, and we've got the Skinwalkers. The models are great, and you know, hopefully the rules will be pretty cool for them too. Uh, I get a sense that you'll only be able to take them in the Norskin thing, but you know, whatever. It seems like a kind of a just including Norska. Um, the Chaos Chosen, you know, coming back. Yeah, okay, whatever. 
Um, I mean, I typically just tend to use Chaos Warriors and just tell people that's a unit of Chosen, and people are normally okay with that. Well, in fact, people are always okay with that. It's the same with the Knights. I just say that unit over there is Chosen Knights, just so you know. Um, but yeah, really excited to see what else they bring back. And like, what are the special characters could they have at this point in time? I suppose, you know, you could have the current Ever Chosen, which is, is it Vardak Krom? No, it's not Krom, is it? Uh, uh, who's the current Ever Chosen? Notable Ever Chosen. Uh... Uh, it's Asafar Cool, isn't it? Because we're 2276. So it could be Asafar Cool. Um, who, uh, spoilers, was ultimately slain in battle at the gates of Kislev by the Emperor Magnus the Pious. Uh, and Archeon is the next ever chosen. Uh, who is a model that I've currently got set to paint. Uh, I've lost his head somewhere. <laughs> I haven't lost his shield, I haven't attached it, but his head. Christ knows where that goes, that's gone. It's probably gone off a hoover somewhere, which is quite annoying. But anyway, that's of our cool, oh, interesting. Looks like an Adidas trainer. Um, there we go, that's what he looks like. So he could be quite cool. If they bring him, if they bring him back, as far cool. Uh, hides are of the Kurgans. It's always the Kurgans. Um, but that could be that could be one of the characters. I don't know what other characters are about in twenty two seventy six for chaos. I guess like is Arbal the undefeated around? It could be him. I mean, I'd be a bit annoyed if it. Huh? I thought that was Catherine Thingy from uh, It Crab. Um, it could be, uh, where is he? Minus 830. Yeah, so he just comes in perennially. So there's, the thing is, like, there's, there was a book called, uh, Champions of Chaos, like, years ago. Oh. Why did that not search? Uh, there was a book called uh, Champions of Chaos. Uh, oh, is it a DLC pack for... Oh, great. So I'm never going to be able to find it, am I? Uh, there was a Champions of Chaos-like uh, book years and years and years ago uh, that had... Like, look, this is it. Look like that. So... That had loads and loads of different Champions of Chaos in, unsurprisingly. But there was like Ardbal the Undefeated was one of them. And uh, Igrim Van Horseman uh, was another one. Book. Uh, they've already said they're doing a dragon. So we're not going to have Igrim Van Horseman. Uh, who, oh, he's uh, in Warhammer Total War. There you go. But that's that's what the model looked like, pretty much. Uh Yeah, which I was amazingly cool at the time. Uh, somebody to know? I don't know what that is. Um, but yeah, I mean, some people went absolutely went to town on it, and uh, it was it was okay. But bit kind of look at that sword, very very old school. Um, quite quite derpy. Um, but yeah, there's loads and loads of champions of chaos that they can that they can choose from. So, you know, I mean, I, I, oh, is she um, is she about at that point in time? Um, oh, she's one of my favourite characters. Um, because there's Dikala, the denied one, as well. 
which I don't know what time. Like it's sort of a snake lady, but that would be quite cool because they could they could make that model quite quite easily. Um, I mean the old models are horrible. Mm. Bye, mate. Uh, yeah, so she could be quite cool. I don't know. I don't know what time. Uh, I don't know what date. It doesn't actually say anything, does it, about what date? So she could be. That could happen. Like, I mean, she followed Arkea. That doesn't mean she wasn't alive many, many, many years before that. Uh, so born in Nagarith, so yeah, very, very old actually. If she was born in Nagarith, she's probably very, very old. A warrior fought at the side of a Narian, yeah. So she's she's very, very old. So it could be her. Um, I I doubt they'd go with anybody who's like. Uh, although I said they doubt, I doubt that anybody who's got a god, but they've gone with one that's got Zinch. So, you know, they could um, they could do they could do um, another one. Um, I'm just trying to think of who else they could do. They could do loads of them. I mean, there's loads of cool characters. Um, my favourite, though, was the Zinch guy with the big double-handed sword, and he looked a bit like a sword master, uh, and I've forgotten his bloody name now. Uh, <laughs> uh, if we just have a look at the uh, the old sixth Ed... Uh, which has all of the uh, rules and stuff in it because uh, somebody decided that they didn't want to support it anymore. Um, <laughs> special characters for Dick. Oh. I thought there was more in Sick Ed. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay. Door guard. Special character units. Hold on. Am I. Uh, oh, I thought there was more. Obviously not. Um, I just clicked the right one, didn't I? Did I? <laughs> um, army index hordes of chaos. That's that's the option, isn't it? Oh, pardon me. So, Galrauk is there. Vardek Krom is there. Krom the Conqueror is there. I mean, I guess they could do. I guess, yeah, if they're going to do Galrauk as, like, maybe a special character for the Mounted Horde thing, they could do, like, uh, they could do Wolfric the Wanderer or even Throg. They could do for, like, um, Warriors of Chaos for the, um, like, Marauder the Horde thing. Um, yeah, I mean, Wolfric the Wanderer, they could definitely do. Um, was Wolfric in 8th then? I can't remember, to be honest. Uh, Warriors of Chaos, let's have a look. I must have played after, I can't remember playing after 6, but um, where's the special... Here we go. Colec. It could be Colec. Valkyrie the Bloody. She was cool. Wolfric. I guess Wolfric the Wanderer, really. Um, I mean, you could... Well, they're not going to do Sigvald because they've got Sigvald. They've brought Sigvald back for um, Major Sigma, haven't they? It's a beautiful model. Absolutely wonderful. So, it could be... It could be Throg, to be fair. It could be any of these, apart from Arcane, obviously. Uh, actually, it can't be Wolfric because Wolfric's later, isn't it? Wolfric's definitely mortal, so he's definitely not alive. I'm not sure about Throg. Um, was it in seventh then when they did Warriors of Chaos? Champions of Chaos, that book.
No, because where's the where's the other ones? Is it fifth then? I'm just really I'm I'm losing the plot to be honest this morning. Uh, I don't know what's going on. Like. Hmm. Can't have been fifth. No, it wasn't fifth when they released that, was it? Was it? I don't know. I just well, or maybe they haven't put the um maybe they haven't put the uh No, it's not this, is it? This is the fifth is a totally different game to sixth. Yeah, I guess it's it must be in here somewhere, but I just don't know where it's gonna be, to be honest. I'm just finding this a bit confusing uh, army lists blah 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 yeah units lord they've got the typical lord stuff hero stuff there core cool stuff here special stuff here rare stuff here special characters just those five like th there were more than that there was that whole bloody book called champions of chaos that they've not that whoever's done this app haven't put in basically from what I can tell um, okay fine whatever but Galrauk is an interesting inclusion um, I guess they could do Bellacor but they probably won't I wouldn't, I wouldn't have thought they'd do Bellacor because Bellacor is a big property in Age of Sigma isn't it because uh, you know poor me they uh, they can't um they can't make new heroes. They have to uh, do nostalgia bait because Age of Sigma is such a strong IP that um, obviously it doesn't need to, you know, do nostalgia bait by bringing stuff back from uh, the old world at all, does it? I mean, it hardly ever does that. It's um, it's brought back, um, you know, like you know, it wouldn't need to. It wouldn't need a nostalgia bait with like Lord Croak or you know or Kaon or. You know, or um, or Carl Franz in the form of Sigma, uh, which they don't, which they've never done a model for. They've never done a model for like um, actual Carl Franz or actual Sigma, like, or they've never done a model for the actual Emperor, like. Which I've always found absolutely baffling, because like. They do all the big gribbly monsters for the bad guys, so you know you've got, <laughs> you know you've got Horus, Lupercal, you've got, um, you know you've got Archaon on Dorgar, which is you know this like universe-ending evil threat basically. Um, you've got you've got loads and loads of like you've got Lord, you've got greater demons. You've even got a named great demon for corn. Scarbrand. Uh, you know, you've got you've but you, they they've never done Sigma or the Emperor. Uh, and despite the fact they could very easily put Sigma on the table in AOS, they haven't. For, you know, whatever reason. Like I don't, I don't know why they won't do that. Like stylistically, why they've got him hiding away behind it. Just as anyway, I'm talking about old world, not that. Um, but yeah, I don't know what they're going to bring back for. Um, uh, and you know, don't don't be in any confusion. Uh, this edition of Warhammer Fantasy, which is called the Old World, is like. Um, it's pure nostalgia bait. So they're going to bring back somebody who was quite popular last time and somebody that people would want to buy again and reimagine. I think one of the cool things about the, the old world nowadays is that the standard of hobby is a lot higher because like, we've got contrast paints, we've got like, we've, like the, the whole paint range and the whole hobby range has moved on significantly since over the last... Like, 20 years so actually you're seeing a lot more interesting effects being used with models uh, the old models which really make them look very cool and modern and up to date uh, which I'm really really happy to see so uh, but anyway back to Warriors of Chaos uh, really really happy to see the old Warriors back uh, I think they're absolutely fantastic I love these Warriors models I think they're the I think they're some of the best 
like I quite like the new Chaos Warrior models, but you know this is um, this is really nice to see the fact that we've got these boys back, and I'll probably get that box. I'm not sure about anything else to be honest. I quite like just massive serried. Oh no, no I'm going to buy everything, aren't I? Um, skin wolves are the models are fantastic. Hopefully the rules are. I love that. Love the giant chaos spawn. Uh, I, I do absolutely love this model. Like I, you know, I used to do commission paints, and I painted like loads of these things. Um, it was my favourite model to do. Uh, <laughs> did it almost for free. Um, then I've got the, the Marauder Cav. I think rules wise, they're so useful in a list. Like Marauder Cav with flails and the Mark of Corn to be little bullets to fire at the enemy to clear away chaff for you know your chosen steeds to come chosen knights to come up behind and uh, you know cause a bit of a nightmare these are really like um yeah now then 10 of them there used to be 35 quid a box <laughs> when uh, when it was AOS and they used to come with the square bases in it still and you had to uh, you had to get the round bases um i remember that um yeah, I've got 20 of these. Thank you very much. I think that's all you need. I'm tempted, actually, just to field them as one unit of 20 with Poisoned and a like Supervisor bloke and just see how well they go, really. But, um, yeah, Chaos being the next faction is really interesting. I don't think anybody really anticipated that, to be honest. Not a lot of people said Chaos were going to come next. I can't remember what I said, to be honest. Uh, what, what I... I I thought and hoped actually that the next two factions would be Empire and Chaos. Um, so they've done Chaos first, so hopefully they'll do Empire next because I think those two kind of twin off together quite nicely. It tends to be the Empire that are kind of holding the forces of Chaos at bay. So um, yeah, it'd be really nice to see nice to see the Empire next. The Empire definitely need their model range out and probably need a rules update um but yeah i'd be really interested to see what the other um oh no there's a new special character uh featured more on her in due course her a new special character her who could that be I genuinely don't know, actually, who that could possibly be. I have absolutely no clue. That's interesting. I'm just trying to think if there's, like, a special character that they sort of mentioned previously. But oh, and unless she is, like, totally... They've just made her up out of out of nowhere. Like, um... Like, um... The Fae Enchantress lady, who's not the Fae Enchantress, um... Oh, what's her bloody name? Uh, Elise Ducard, unless it's like a completely new. So we've got a new special character. We've got a dragon coming back and loads of other stuff. So Black Armoured Battalion box. Why have they done it in like the old world like teal colour? Why don't just do it in like a nice, nice shade of black with like volcanoes and shit? <laughs> anyway. Um, that's uh, that's me talking about the arcade. I'm super excited about this. I love uh, Warriors of Chaos. Uh, they are. Oh, it was the first the first box of models. Uh, uh sorry. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm falling into nostalgia. I can see if I can find. It. Yes, look there it is. Uh, that was the first ever box of Warhammer I got. I thought there was eight in it. Oh, there was six. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, there you go. That so it shows you how terrible the memory is. I thought there was eight. There's actually six. But that was the uh, that was the first box. I'm not paying forty quid for that. But that was the first um, the first ever box of uh, Warhammer that I ever got was uh, was that was those guys. Uh, and then oh my god! And then uh, I did have did I have some of those? 
No, I don't. I, no, those those weren't the Chaos Knights that I got uh, when I got Chaos Knights. But um, is this like a... Well, for 1900 quid, you can really go to town on your nostalgia. Uh, you've got the terrible old beast when the terrible old... Oh, no, it was that box. How many's in that? Is that... Like, that's 10, isn't it? There's 10 of them. Yeah, yeah, it was that box, actually. Sorry, I fibbed a little bit. Uh, is he... Yeah, this box. This is the one that I had. Uh, that was the first ever box of Warhammer I got. And uh, I did some dry brushing. <laughs> I got some black spray from... Um, from um, some shop somewhere, and uh, I got some. Uh, uh, it was Humbrol, uh, like Spitfire metal gun metal sort of thing, and dry brushed them metal. And I thought it, this was wonderful. I'm going to do more of this, and now, uh, nearly thirty years later, <laughs> um, I'm talking about this nonsense to the internet. Which didn't even exist at the time, really. Um, weird how time passes, isn't it? Anyway, um, thanks for listening. Uh, if you've liked the video, there's a there's a button uh, that you can hover your mouse over and then depress the uh, the main clicky button. If you go for the alternative clicky button, it will give you some options. None of which you want really. You should use the main button if you want to. Uh, I don't know why I'm saying that. I'm trying to be funny and failing miserably. It's very early in the morning here. I, it's just I woke. I saw this um, when I was flicking around last night and thought, oh, I'd have to do a video on that. Uh, now I'm going to get on with updating the stats and hopefully do a meta vid at some point. This might come out after the meta vid. So uh, if it does, anyway, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Uh, all that's left to say, too late.